Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Watching this gave me cancer. I don't know if you hear that, but it's raining outside. I just spoke to a certain puppet that's located on my shirt. We were talking about the future of the video game industry and one device that's seemingly missing for some reason that should be there because the technology is there but yet it hasn't presented itself in a form that's actually functional. And no, I'm not talking about the taco. I'm talking about a legitimate mobile phone gaming device made by one of the major gaming companies. For those of you who have been watching me for a while, you may be familiar with my initial take on the Nintendo Mini Switch coming. I talked about this like a year ago and brought up how they should make a Nintendo phone. And I actually thought that was going to be what the mini switch would look like. But fast forward a year and there's still no talk about a Nintendo phone. There's no talk about a Microsoft or Sony phone. I know Microsoft and Sony both attempted to dip their toes in that market and for better or worse, failed pretty miserably. But they didn't do it with the right approach. They didn't take it from a gamer approach. They were trying to get into the phone market and compete directly with the likes of Apple and Google's Android service on Samsung devices and, and other major players. So for some reason, they were trying to go into the mobile phone market to compete with people who are already successful instead of blazing their own path. Now we all are familiar with Nokia and the N-Gage and how that was a Terrible system. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, you could play Tomb Raider on it. Yeah, you could play some other games on it. But by and large, it was considered a failure by many gamers and maybe steered a lot of these companies away from trying to approach that market. But anybody who plays games, anybody who owns a Nintendo Switch, a 3DS, a PS Portable, a Vita, any of these new age mobile gaming systems that present a high quality game experience in the palm of your hands knows that this is a market that is just dying for a mobile phone that actually works in it. But why hasn't it happened yet? Obviously, there are a lot of financial restrictions diving into the mobile phone market, especially when you've never really done anything in that area, is a gigantic risk and it costs a ton of money to start it up. So Nintendo would probably be best served partnering up with a major player like Verizon or AT&T or Google even to create a mobile phone gaming experience that would completely blow people out of the water. This is something that Nintendo doesn't really do though. They don't like partnering with other companies to make consoles. If anyone's familiar with Sony and how the original PlayStation 1 came to fruition, it was supposed to be a Super Nintendo add-on device, but Nintendo doesn't get along with other major players and that fell apart. So Nintendo needs to look a different direction, which they have been doing recently with new management, new leadership, which kind of got me thinking about this initially in the first place. They may look at this landscape and say, the future is evolving, it's changing, and the only way to survive is to adapt to what the future is going to be. If you've seen my other videos talking about the future of video games, it's going to be mostly streaming. Doesn't mean that's the only option, it just means that's the direction a major part of the industry is going. But while the industry shifts towards that, there will be an environment for mobile phones that will increase dramatically as time goes on, especially if a major player approaches the market the right way. Instead of approaching it from a crazy microtransaction angle, approach it like a video game console. Approach it like a Game Boy. Make it something very unique that clearly isn't taking advantage of its customers like a ton of these free-to-play games available right now are doing. Instead of Nintendo creating a Switch Mini, consider for a moment Nintendo creating a Switch phone where it would be a phone and it would be able to play Switch games. So technically it's still a Switch. You can switch it between being a phone or playing games on the go. You'd still have the Joy-Cons, you'd still be able to play the games with actual buttons, an actual analog stick, and it would actually fit in your pocket. This is something that's kind of mind-blowing to the mobile phone market. You got these phones right now where there are no buttons. And if you want to play a game with buttons on them, you got to get the controller separately connecting it with a Bluetooth adapter. It's a clusterfuck. You're not going to be doing that. Most people, if they're going to be playing gaming on the go and wanting a high quality experience in doing so, they're going to want to have an actual controller, which is exactly why the Nintendo Switch has been so wildly popular across the globe. 
Everybody wants a good gaming experience on the go. If Nintendo were to go into the mobile phone market themselves, or more likely, join forces with somebody, it would make a ton of sense and it would almost guarantee success for the future of their brand. Another thing that tipped me off to start thinking about this is I saw an article the other day talking about how Verizon is actually under the radar running their own streaming service platform right now and they're paying people to test out the service to see if the streaming is working and how good the service is, which as of right now, they're running into quite a few issues because the technology is almost there, but it's not quite there yet. A few years down the road, the technology for mobile phone streaming games is going to be there and it's going to revolutionize the entire video game industry. If Nintendo would want to be in the forefront and not lose relevancy, their only move right now would be to make a mobile phone console. Just think how that would put them ahead of the competition. With Microsoft's next Xbox competing directly against the PlayStation 5 and newcomers like Google versus Amazon on their streaming services, how crazy would it be if Nintendo goes a little bit of a different direction and instead of trying to compete directly with these companies that clearly have the advantage in terms of raw power and graphics, why not go a completely different direction and try to obtain a gigantic portion of the market of mobile phones? It's something that everybody has and is in a clear area of opportunity that they could take full advantage of. I know firsthand that I would drop my iPhone in a second if Nintendo was coming out with a mobile phone. I don't really even care how good the service is for the phone calls, if it works, okay. That's all that really matters. I usually just text anyway. I don't care too much about phone call quality. If it receives and sends phone calls, to me, that's all I really need. As long as it has some sort of an internet browser and things that can attach to it, like have a portion of the phone be just Android, which Nintendo, we all know, doesn't like having security flaws in their services that they offer. But maybe it would compartmentalize it, where Nintendo would have their own platform and then a second part of the phone would be basically an Android phone. It would make a ton of sense. That way Nintendo would still have the security on all their games. It would be able to play Switch games, which is crazy and mind-blowing, if it would be able to put the cartridges inside of it and play them, and have the ability to work as a phone it's an instant sale for me. I don't even care what it costs. It could be $1,500 and I would consider buying that thing. And yes, like I said, there are a lot of hurdles to overcome if this were to ever come to fruition. The biggest of all of them being a huge financial burden in starting up a physical mobile phone division that would actually create the phones themselves. Maybe partner with Qualcomm, partner with someone who's familiar with making phones and do a joint venture, it would be insane. And honestly, the more I think about it, the more I know that it's the only way Nintendo will survive in the next generation of gaming. I don't think this phone is coming anytime soon, by the way. I don't think it's gonna be here this year. Hell, I don't even think it's coming next year. But imagine in 2021, 2022, the Nintendo Switch phone that would be available for purchase where you would only need one device and be able to play all your Nintendo Switch titles on it and be able to make mobile phone calls. Hopefully in two to three years, they've evolved lithium ion batteries and created something that lasts a little bit longer so that you're not so stressed about battery life, which is always the biggest concern and complaint from a lot of mobile phone holders. But in a few years, I could actually see this thing becoming a reality, which makes me want to throw the question out to you. Would this be something you'd be interested in? Would you want to purchase a Nintendo phone? Would you be interested if Microsoft and Sony went that direction and made a mobile phone that was able to stream the games from the Xbox or the PlayStation 5 when those actually come out? Would that be something that'd be interesting to you? Would you buy that? Or do you think it's kind of needs to be on its own thing and you don't want to mix gaming with your personal phone? I'd be very interested to hear where you stand on that and if you stand in the camp of wanting a gaming mobile phone, which company you'd want it from. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, you stay smashing. I don't know what this is, but it's given me a boner. Smash.